Welcome to News English. I'm your instructor, Dr. Ye. In this episode on politics, we are going to find out what conspiracy theory means and how does it manifest in our society. I have provided an outline here, so as we can see, we will understand the definition of conspiracy theory and we will explore some of its examples. Conspiracy, by definition, means it is a secret plan made by two or more people to do something that is harmful and illegal. Theory, on the other hand, is an idea or set of ideas that is ex intended to explain facts or events. But what does it mean when we put these two vocabularies together? More importantly, what is its actual manifestation? I will illustrate some of the examples to exemplify conspiracy theory. First, I will talk about the Roswell UFO incident in the United States. Nowadays, it's becoming a public myth about the existence of the mysterious Area 51. It's a military base in Nevada, and this place is believed to be related to the existence of UFOs and alien bodies. More interestingly, the conspiracy behind the denial of existence is probably because the United States is secretly carrying out secret developments and testing of new Air Force aircraft. Or it can be a cover-up for a in cooperation between the U.S. military and aliens. Second, we have a global warming conspiracy theory. This invokes claims that the scientific consensus on global warming is based on false data to suppress dissent or disagreement. Climate change deniers popularizes this conspiracy theory as one of the tactics to dispute the climate change consensus as a political or social movement. Global warming conspiracy theorists allege that the science behind global warming has been invented or distorted. It is false, fake, or it is a hoax, and therefore, the problem with climate change does not happen. Thirdly, we can look back in Taiwan history of presidential election. The memorable 319 shooting incident was an assassination attempt on former President Chen Shui-bian and former Vice President Aneta Lu while they were campaigning in Tainan on March 19, 2004. The attack provoked shock and unease nationwide, where political violence of this kind was commonplace against non-KMT members 40 years earlier, such as white terror. Reaction to this incident divided according to people's support of different political parties. KMT supporters believe the incident was fake or organized by DPP in order to provoke angst against crimes and violence like this and to win sympathy from voters in the upcoming election. Next, the 9-11 conspiracy theory refers to the September 11 attacks in 2002. The most prominent conspiracy theory is that the collapse of the Twin Towers and Seven World Trade Center were the result of a controlled dem demolition rather than structural failure due to impact and fire. After the attack, the U.S. government immediately announced the list of hijackers soon after destruction of the Taliban regime. Then the U.S. declared war with Iraq to search for weapons and be London, the leader behind the 9-11 attack. 
So conspiracy goes that the 9/11 attack was self-directed, and the counterattack in Iraq was actually George W. Bush's own plot in order to consolidate the legitimacy, to maintain the international status of the United States, to achieve the effect of controlling the world. Last, returning to the most recent event in Taiwan, the A15 power failure in 2017 also suggests a conspiracy theory. The power outage uh, outage created a large-scale blackout on August 15, 2017, due to staff error while fixing supply pipeline for natural gas and has ceased to operate. However, the conspiracy goes that it is impossible to keep the SOP and create a mistake like this, and it is even suggested that the intention behind the blackout may be related to the launch of the fourth nuclear power plant. So far, conflicts involving this issue remain. Given some examples earlier, we can probably return to defining conspiracy theory as theories that explain events, especially traumatic ones, in ways that the world is really controlled by secret organizations, which can be a fact that remains unknown to most people. This is the end of our episode on conspiracy theory. I hope you can think about how these examples are relevant to us, and what kinds of impact they made, or what other examples can you think of. We shall return to these questions when we return to the class for group discussion.